Hello friend, welcome back. I'm really glad that you are here. In this video, I want to discuss about after end of this course what you will build. Please give me some time to explain you what type of project that will be. I hope it will inspire you to start this course. So friend, we will develop one complete multi-vendor e-commerce project with using Laravel latest version as Laravel 9. And we will develop everything from to the scratch. Sound is great, right? We'll take a look what we'll create. Here you can see friend that will be our font in. Into the font in they have the all that functionality and I hope you already noticed how much clean and very good looking one of the site that is. And everything in particular that e-commerce project everything is totally dynamic. You can manage everything from to the back end. That will be one option for the logging user. Then that will be our admin part. So that is our admin logging portion as the admin logging and also that is another one as a vendor logging. So if you log in with the admin, like I want to log in with the admin and here if you pass the password, okay, simply pass the password. Now if you log in, now you can see it's now display as a login successful and now I am logging with the admin. If you go to that our vendor, so that will be our vendor logging and here if you put that vendor email address and vendor password, I put that vendor password, now click as a sign in. Now you can see it's also redacted to our vendor page as a logging successful and when vendor will be logging it will be returned redirect to the vendor dashboard when that will be logging with our admin then that it will be returned redirect to our admin dashboard and also in this project all that our route is totally protected that means vendor will be not able to access admin any pages and also vendor will be not able to access user any route so our all the route is protected by using that middleware so how to do this work every Everything I will show you with the live example and into the back end as you notice they have the so many options you can manage your brand you can manage your category you can manage your all that subcategory if you go to that our category all and into the category you can see that is all that our category that have some of the category images so now everything and it should be displayed in here now in our found in every part is totally dynamic you can manage your all that images if you want to search any product how to load some of the advanced search option by using that keyword what of the keyword you will actually add it will be gets a specific this type of one of the product so how to do this work i will show you and then there is a compare functionality the wish list functionality that will be our cart functionality all that our category will be loaded category related if there have any subcategory subcategory will be loaded and then that is all be our slider you can manage all that slider from to the back end into the back end there is a product manager that is our slider manager so that from to this area you can manage your slider from to this position you can manage your back and there is a coupon system the shopping there is a shopping area here if you go to that our coupon into the coupon if you go to the, our all coupon and into the coupon area you can see there is our coupon name coupon discount amount coupon validity so you can set some of the specific date for a specific this uh, coupon after that date when that will be expired our status will be automatically updated as expired that means coupon will be as expired okay so how to add this type of one of the functionality I will show you and then that is our vendor all that vendor active vendor and inactive vendor and active vendor will be display all that your order processing you can actually manage it from here as a pending order confirm order processing order there's a return option you can manage you can get that all that report okay from here you can actually get this report if you go to that our report view from here if you get that as a month wise all that report you can get it okay month wise report date wise report and also year wise report you can get if you click the search you can see that will be our total report and and from here you can also download the PDF so automatically it should be downloaded on the PDF format if you go to that view then that will be display all that your order details okay and also I have covered almost everything as I told you there is a report manage uh, from here you can use that report that is all that our user you can manage the blog blog category add blog post the review you can also manage all that your review there is a setting option that is a stock option you can manage your stock when any product will be completed that means when it will be as a delivered our stock automatically will be updated and there is a role and permission you can create some of the role you can create some of the permission and also you can assign all that role and permission for a specific some of the user 
so i show you please give me some time okay like as i told you they have the so many options i have actually covered in particular that course like that is our all that category and if this category they have some of the item it should be displayed as a six item for fashion category they have the seven product that means it's display as a seven item you can manage all that your um, ad that means all that your banner from to the back end and that will be our all that product so into the product area it will be display our product images also it display the category name the product name if this product have any review also dynamically that review will be updated like for this product they have the one review and you can see also is display our vendor name like that product actually inserted from to the vendor so vendor will be able to insert some of the product it will be also display the vendor that will be as an owner that means admin will be also able to add some of the product like if you go to our admin add product like that is a product manage if you go to our all product and you can see it's display all that our product images, the product name, the price, the quantity, discount for a specific this product. There's an active and that means this product is active and you can edit it. You can delete this product. You can view it. You can active or inactive. Like I make it as this product as inactive. When you make it as inactive, you can see our status is automatically updated as a, that is inactive product. And also is display as a product is now inactive. And when that will be as a inactive, that is the product not should be display in our phone like right now they have the 23 product if you also want to active it again now you can see it's not successfully updated as a product active so how to do this type of work I will show you and also there is add product functionality from here if you want to add some of the product like there is a product name you can add the product name you can add that multiple size as per your demand you can add that multiple color as per your demand there is a multiple option you can add it there is short description that will be as a long description from here you can select that one images that is our product main thumb line and also you can use that multiple one that means you can select multiple images at a time. You can see it's also successfully added and then if from here you can manage the price discount if you want to add product code product quantity brand category if you select any category this category related all that our subcategory will be loaded when you select electronics electronics related subcategory will be loaded and from here you can make it as empty that means automatically that will be our admin product rather than you can also assign some of the product for the vendor so that is all that our vendor is loaded okay and you can manage it as a hot deals features product the special product or a special deals when you select it as a only hot deals then hot deals product will be displayed in our font end. into the font end, there is also another option another option for the hot deals a special offer recently added and a special deal okay and when you select it as a only feature product like all that our feature product will be displayed in here if you go there is also another option for the features you can also select multiple things at a time like right now on to add to cut one of the product you then everything will be more clear like here right now that is our view if you open it view you can see it's you display the sizes if this product have any size you can select the size you can select the color and also our brand category name is visible and if you go to our details page like i want to go particular that product details page and into the details page you can see there is the same option our product multiple images is also visible how to display this type of one of the multiple functionality i will show you and the review is visible the short description if this product that is our selling price that is our discount price and how many discount they have the 32 percent off for a specific this product and there is our sizes all that sizes will be loaded all that our color will be loaded and also that product actually sold by our vendor name okay so that is the vendor details you can also get it that is our product description and that is our vendor description you can see there is a vendor details is visible and review so if you also want to add some of the review uh, here you can see if you want to add some of the review first of all you have to log in first so after that logging that is will be another form will be added i will show you and then our category related all that our related product also will be displayed okay how to display this step up on the related product i will also cover everything with the live example and now if you go to our home page and into the home page like right now i am not logging right so without logging if you want to um, add to wishlist any product you can see it should be display at first logging your account if you want to make it as a compare also you have to log in fast so better i want to do on the logging first i want to log in so that will be our user logging page and also from here you can re register one of the new user like for education purpose i'm logging with the user now click as a login 
now we can see uh, we are successfully logging successful now that is our user profile and is that is user dashboard so that is our be user dashboard that will be our admin dashboard and that will be our vendor dashboard okay like right now i want to do want to add to cart one of the product like right now there is also option for the order return order track your order you can also track your order and then account details change password if you want to change that user password you can change it and from here you can log out like right now and to add to cart one of the product if you now go home you can add to cart from to the details page okay from to the details page you can add to cart rather than that is also another model like for now education purpose i want to do and to take it okay like that is one of the product as a next food i want to open it now you can see that is our if there have any size then that will be displayed the size if there have any color then that will be displayed this color and also if there have no size like so there is a mobile phone for the mobile phone they have no sizes and right now i want to do i want to simply first of all add to cut this product like that is our sizes i selected on the small or medium size and also that is our red size i want to choose that color and now i'm going to make it as add to card you can see it's now display as a successfully at your card and now if you go our card area you can see it's now display our card right so there is a one product that is our um, total amount and now if you go to that our card page now from to the card page it will be display our unit price that is a color the sizes and that is our quantity okay and it will be if you want to add that another one like i want to go home again okay i want to go home i want to take another product who, which product don't have any sizes like i want to check it like there is our mobile i want to open it like you can see for this product they have no size they have no color for the reason it's not display nothing now you can also add to cut this product successfully add your card and also right now our card should be updated and you can see it's now successfully display all that our product and also our total amount is updated and now if you from here if you want to add that wish list like i want to make this product as a wish list you can see successfully added on your wish list and also here i add this type of one of the validation if you want to make this product again in your wish list it should be display as this product has already on your wish list and same as for the compare you can also add the compare functionality here you can get all that product you can get that categorized product like that is our electronics you can see that is electronics related all that our product will be display and you can see our category all that category is electronics and our vendor name is also visible that is a fashion related product so fashion category related all that product will be display that is latest product rather than if you click as the all product that will be get will be get get all that our latest product so how to add this type of one of the functionality i will everything show you with the live example right now if you go to our wish list like right now if you go to that our wish list page and to the wish list right now they have the two wish list product you can see it's also successfully display as a two right now that is our 500 that is also another one and also from here if you want to remove this wish list i want to do right now there are the two i want to remove it i want to remove one you can see there is a successfully product removed and without loading that page our wish list count is successfully updated and also i have covered the compare if you want to compare two of this product you can also compare it like here i want to do want to make this product as a compare okay there is a compare product compare this product has already on your compare so <laughs> that is already in our card and if you make it as a compare that is successfully add to compare now if you go to that our compare product now you can see right now there is our one product and details is visible that is also another one so they have some of the compare product i have already added for a specific this user for the reason so you can see it's already in here okay and if you want to remove it you can remove this compare there is a successfully product remove i want to make it as a remove now that is also two of this product you can actually compare both of this product from to this area i have already completed our total compare functionality now if you go to that our card and from here if you want to remove one of the card you can see without loading that page product will be removed from to the card now if you go to our card page and you do the card page i want to complete the checkout functionality right now there is a product that is display our subtotal and grand total if you want to apply some of the coupon like i have already created some of the coupon from to the back end as i told you that is our com our coupon system if you go to our back end there is a coupon that is our all coupon okay right now i want to don't add that our happy learning 
so here you can say I use that happy learning and for the happy learning there is a 20% off and that is also valid one of the coupon now what to do on to apply this coupon if you apply it you can see or the coupon applied successful our form will be totally gone from to this position that will be our subtotal subtotal is visible coupon name is visible if you want to remove this coupon you can also remove it from here uh, that is our discount amount is visible the grand total is also successfully visible okay and now our product if you want to uh, remove this product you can also remove it from here like right now i want to remove it and you can see our total card is successfully updated without loading that page and now that is totally clean and here i have also put this type of one of the condition when our cart will be as a empty you cannot able to process this checkout if you now click as a process to checkout then system will redirect it to a home page and you can see it displays a shopping at last one product so how can add this type of one of the functionality i will show you everything with the live example so you can add to cart this product from to the model rather than if you go to that our details page so that is our product details page from here you can also select the size select the color and that will be sent um, sold by one of the vendor and vendor also should be as a notified and if you go to that our review functionality now you are already logging you are able to add some of the review for this product you can also add some of the comment for this product okay so every functionality i have already covered it like first of all i want to complete that our checkout part like i want to make it as a add to cart now you can see from our details page you can also able to add to cart this product now there is a one product now go to our card now you can see that is our card is successfully visible i want to apply our coupon coupon is applied successful okay coupon is applied successful that is our right now discount amount as a 20 percent you can see now that is 80 dollar automatically system will be calculated this data and now that is our grand total will be 320. now if you go to that our process to check out now from here right now i'm already logging as a user at the gmail.com username is visible from here you can select the division you can select the district you can select that estate some of the additional information and then you can put that postal code and here you can see is display all that your order details right now there are the one quantity 400 our color i have selected as a red size i have selected as a small size our subtotal amount our coupon name and 20 percent off that is a 20 percent off and that will be our grand total okay so you can payment it uh, by the stripe i have also covered that stripe and, and rather than you can also select it as a cash and delivery so first of all i want to do and to better make it as a fast i make it as a cash and delivery if you now go to that place to order now you can see it will be display your order details so that will be our total order details and now i want to do i want to make it as a make cash payment now click as a submit now our order that is your order placed successfully and when our order will be placed successful our card will be as a empty because i have already completed total order now user will be get their order details there if you go to that order page into the order page you can see now that is our 7th september and there is a total amount is this one that is one of the cash on delivery and invoice number as a 4219 and that is status is right now as a pending if you want to visible that order details you can also visible it if you go to that view and you can see it's now successfully visible our total order details and that is actually our product and also our vendor name is visible that is a product code is visible color size quantity and total amount okay so how to do this work i will show you and also from here if you go to that order again now i want to do on to update that our status okay like that is our pending status as a fourth or invoice number as a 4219 now i want to go to our admin admin will be also get notified like here when if you go and if you now right now they have the five now if you click as a refresh now you can see right now that the another notification is added as a six and here when any customer purchase any product then automatically system will send all of the notification to the customer as a new order added in shop i have also covered multiple notification like when any new register will be in your site then also also it will be displayed as a new user registered in your shop then also when any vendor will be requested then this will be displayed as a new vendor request so how to display this type of one of the notification i will also show you with the live example okay now if you go to our order page like that is our order manage if you now go to that our pending order now you can see they have all that our pending order will be display in here so right now our latest one as a 4219 and you can see that is one of the cash on delivery that is our total amount our date is also successfully display our status as a pending 
and right now that is one of the product and that's product actually our vendor if you go to that our vendor right now here i have used that our vendor name our vendor name will be as a next food limited next food limited i have already logging that is our vendor account you can see that is a next food limited that is a vendor so vendor also will be get notified if you now go to that product like that is our order that is a vendor order if you go to that vendor order so a specific this product is actually for this vendor you can see that is also successfully visible that is invoice number as a 4219 amount is visible cash on delivery and status as a pending you can also display these vendor details that means product details you can see that you can a vendor will be also get notified a specific this product related all the data so right now admin will be able to update this status but vendor only will be display here they have no action but if you now go to our admin into the admin that is a order status now i want to update if you now click as a view now if you you can see now our order status as a pending if you want to make it as a confirm order that are you sure to confirm if you click as a yes confirm order now that should be redacted to our all confirm status and now our status is updated for 4219 that is the confirm and also if you go to our user user also will be get notified if you now go to our order and now you can see our status for a specific this order is updated as a confirm and if you want to download that invoice you can also download this invoice if you click as a invoice download and you can see that is invoice is also successfully generated first of all you have to down you start download it now i want to open so that is our invoice is generated if you now open it with the chromi now it should be display a specific this order related total pdf you can see that is a product is visible quantity and the, our vendor name is also visible as a next food our total amount as a 320 right here everything how to generate this type of one of the pdf i will also cover it everything with the live example and now if you go back i also i want to open that our order tracking you can also track your order right now our status i have updated as a pending to the confirm like that is our invoice number i want to copy it now you can also track your order if you make it as inappropriate some of the code then it should be successfully display some of the validation as a invoice code is invalid now here you have to add that a valid code now if you click as a track order now that should be redacted to our track order page and you can see it's now successfully displayed before that was as a order pending and now our status is updated as a order confirm now admin i want to form to the admin i want to update it like that is will be as a 4219 i want to make as a again view and now from to the confirm i want to update that status as a processing order so that will be as a processing order now that should be redacted to our all processing order and then our if you go our user user status now should be also updated in our tracking now that should be as a order processing yeah you can see there is also another is selected as a order processing and also now is status should be updated as a processing okay you can see it's also updated as a processing and for the return option i have also add this type of one of the functionality you can see there is a when that will be as a delivered then you are able to return some of the product like if you now go to our view into the view area they have no option for the return you can see they have no option for the return but when admin will be delivered this product after the delivered uh, that another option will be available for the return i will show you like right now i want to go back right now our order is the processing i want to do and to make it as a done so pro from the processing i want to make it as a delivered like processing is complete now i want to make it as a delivered yes delivered it now it successfully delivered our order as a 4219 that is our status is updated as a delivered and when that will be as a delivered if you go to our user and now if you refresh it and now you can see that is our invoice as a 4219 and status is updated and if you go to our order tracking that should be also fill up if you now refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully updated as a delivered Okay, friend, how to do this work? That is our invoice as a 4219 is successfully updated. So how to add this type of one of the order tracking system? I will also show you. Like right now, this product is delivered. And now if you go to that our view, and into this view, now you will be get one of the option for the return or reason. Okay, so here you can form to this position, you can now return this product. So from here, if you want to return it, you can return it. Whatever the things you can choose, like I make it as a, not happy not happy this type of the return now click as the order return 
Now you can see it's successfully done as a return request sent to the successful and also it's our status I will be updated that is one of the return product. You will also get all that your return product in here. If you go to our return and you can see that is our product as a 4219 and that is the reason I make it as a not happy and that is our pending status. And from to the admin also he will be able to get this notification. If you go to that admin into the admin, if you now go to the return order that is our return request. And you can see that is a return request for a specific invoice number as a 42199. I have already created this type of one of the invoice. So system will be automatically generated this type of one of the invoice. And now that is status as a pending reason as a not happy. So admin will be able to view this order details rather than admin will be able to approve this one. So and also if you go to that our vendor, vendor also will be get that notification if you now refresh it. And now if you go to that our order manage that is a vendor order and that is a return order if you go to that return order you can see it's also vendor will be get notified for the 4219 that is one of the invoice and that is reason as a not happy and that is the status as a return okay so vendor will be able to get our complete return orders the vendor all that orders a vendor will be able to add some of the product that will be vendor related all that our product you can see for this that is actually all specific this vendor related they have the six product but if you go to our admin admin will be able to get access all that our product here if you go that is a manage and that is our all product if you go to our um, admin product so admin they have the 23 product but that is a specific this vendor related product you can see vendor related all the product will be displayed in here so vendor will be able to add some of the product so how to do this type of one of the functionality friend as i told you they have the so many things i have covered almost everything which will be needed for the e-commerce project i have actually covered everything and also if you want to create on the new vendor i show you like i want to click as a logout right now and then i want to go our side and that is our order details that user can able to change their password that is that account details if the user want to update their account details he will be able to update it now i want to click as a logout Okay, I want to click as a logout. Right now, I want to create there is an invoice, there is a product. Okay, here I want to do, I want to create one of the vendor. Like that is one of the option for the become a vendor. If you make it as a become a vendor, now I want to open our shop name as a Monipuri. Monipuri. Okay, our username I name it as a Monipuri or Moni. And our email I name it as a Moni at the rate sorry Moni at the rate gmail.com gmail.com and put some of the phone number for education purpose and status joining date i make it as a 2022 i put set some of the password okay i will set some of the password as you do me one two three four five for education purpose and confirm password it will be this one and then i want to agree it now i want to do i want to send some of the request for a specific this e store because in e store i want to create one of the new vendor okay that is very important one of the things like if you make it as a submit to register now you can see it successfully display as a vendor registered successfully. So vendor right now will be able to logging. But if you go, I want to logging with the money, money at the gmail.com. And if you now logging the password, click as a sign in. Now you can see it's now display as a logging successful. But right now our vendor account is the inactive account. Please wait. Admin will check and approve your account. Okay, that means right now you are successfully logging, but they have no option for the add product or is to create your store. Only you will be able to change your password. You will be able to uh, log out from here. You will be able to also update your profile details. If you go to that profile, you can see that is our profile, all that information. So from here, if you want to update your vendor information as per your demand, you can update it. If you want to choose some of the photo, like here, I want to do for this vendor, I want to use um, this type of one of the um, icon or images. Okay, I want to do, um, that is on the shopping logo, right? So for education purpose, I want to do, I want to use um, this one. Okay, I want to use this one or this one. I want to use this one. Now click as a save changes. Now that should be our vandal logo. So here that should be one of the logo actually. So now you can see it's now successfully updated. But right now he will be not able to do anything. If you go to dashboard, it's our account is inactive. Okay, so now our also notification is be empty because they have no for no for notification for this user. And now if you go to our admin logging into the admin logging, 
there is option for the vendor and if you go to that inactive vendor and now that should be also get notified admin will be get one of the notification one minute ago there is a new vendor request you can see there is a new vendor request now you can see that is actually one of the new vendor that i have created and now our status is inactive if you go to that vendor details into the vendor details you can see there is all that information is updated in here and also for this vendor vendor already updated their photo and photo is display so now i want to do i want to active this vendor when admin will be active this vendor now you can see our vendor active successfully and now if you go to our vendor account so now that should be updated and also he will be get notification here that your admin approve your account now click as a refresh yes you can see now a vendor account is active and that is also get on the notification as a admin approve your accounts 14 second ago and you can also send some of the mail which is fine now this vendor is active that means account is active vendor now able to add some of the product he will be get all the order details and also you will be get that review all that portions that means if any customer put some of the review for a specific this vendor product then vendor will be get notified all that review in here I hope you get that idea how much rich course is that I have actually covered almost everything and also now if you go to that our admin into the admin there have another option for the permission if you can see there is a role and permission you can create some of the permission you can create some of the role you can also assign some of the role in particular permission if you go you can see that is all that our role role will be display like for the CEO if for the CEO if you want to add some of the role for a specific access this menu you can actually manage it you can select all that permission at a time rather than individually you can also select all that our permission for a specific this role if you want to add some of the permission how to add this permission and if you go that is also that is the all role and permission if you go in particular that position you can see that is our super admin super admin actually get all that permission admin will be get some of the permissions for the ceo i have added some of the permission and for the account that is also some of the permission like i show you if you go our user if you go to the admin manage and there is our all admin if you go to that or all admin and you can see they have some of the different type of user like that is our admin at the gmail.com right now i'm already logging for the admin and they have the role as a super admin for the reasons he will be able to access all that our menu but right now if you go our another user as a le at the gmail.com there is a role i have assigned for a specific this user as a account like i want to do onto locking it i copy it and now from here i want to go to our logging that will be as admin logging and now that is our admin user easy at the red gmail.com and if you go to that password and now click as a sign in now you can see i am successfully logging successful and for a specific this user i have already assigned some of the role as an account and for the account you can see he will be able to only access the brand he will be only able to access our all brand if you want to change it like here i want to change that our role that is our easy that is our role account i have selected as an account now if you go to again on role and permission i want to change some of the permission so if you go to our all roles and with all roles that is account he will be only able to access at the brand menu brand list blog menu stock menu and then report menu so if you want to change it from here i want to click as edit like here that is a blog okay i don't want to access that blog if you make it as a blog i want to make it as unselected right now for this user able to access the blog manage now i want to want to simply remove it i make it as a unselect for the blog menu and now that is our role name as an account now let's check this out click as a save changes now you can see our role permission is updated for the account i have only selected as a brand menu brand list stock and then report he will be not able to display our blog if you now go now that block should be not display click as a refresh yes you can see it, you, this user is not able to access our menu as a block menu same as you can also put that condition like there is our all page into the all page you can see for this user i didn't add any action button like he will be not able to add any edit or delete so like for a specific this user right now i'm logging with the alley a specific this user if you want to add some of the permission like he will be only able to edit it he will be not able to delete it so in that case we have to update that our role that means that is our role account account i want to edit it again 
and here i want to make it as a brand so he'll be able to get that brand menu he'll be able to get that brand list and also i want to get another permission i want to add another permission as a brand edit he'll be now able to edit it now click as a save changes now that user should be able to access that edit now click as a refresh yeah you can see now this user able to edit our brand I hope friend you get that idea how much rich course that will be i as i told you i actually try to all cover almost everything also they have the so many functionality i actually i don't want to make this video so much long i hope by this journey you'll be able to create complete one of the multi-vendor e-commerce site if you now close log out so that will be the logout if you now go to our home page that will be our home page okay everything is totally dynamic and you are able to manage everything from to the back end so that is one of the complete multi-vendor e-commerce project we'll create with using laravel latest version laravel 9 and we'll develop everything from to the scratch and also that is our details page like if you go to our category page that is our category page category related all that our product now that should be display you can see there is our category related all product is display in here and also it's display as a home and that is our bread come as a fashion category if you go to that our um, details that means our category then sub category page it should be display our category name and also that is our sub category name and sub category related they have the two product and now you can see it's now display as a two product from here you can also add to cut this product as per your demand you can see it's successfully added great and also if you want to get this product by the vendor you can also get it if you go to that our home and here if you go our vendor product that means that is our vendor account like for this vendor they have the three product for um, that is our another vendor as a four product and that is our all vendor page if you go to that our all vendor now it should be get all that our vendor vendor you can see that is our vendor list and that is all that our vendor is visible so recently i have created one of the new vendor and that is active for the reason she's now display in here and now if you go to that expert fashion they have the three product if you go to detail space now that will be redacted to our vendor detail space okay into the vendor detail space you can see it's now display as an expert fashion that is our vendor name vendor logo is visible time is visible name there are the, some of the short description flowing address everything is in here so for this vendor they have the three product and you can see that is successfully display the three product okay so as i told you they have also so many things i have actually covered in particular that course i hope this is something you're interested in if you are then go ahead and enroll this course i am so excited to share this experience with you if you're ready then let's get started